Hey, Big and Fury, hello to you guys. My name is Denis Kolesnikov, known as Kurash Bambi. I have three mates here with me. Sergey. Vulpa. And Boris. And together we'll go through 10,000 kilometers, 8 time zones and almost 30 cities and towns. Follow our journey here on Real Russia channel and in social networks. This is all Russia! I decided to go till the end to say so. How does it feel? I've got scared already. I'm at the Dynamo Stadium. It's the camera! We are ready for the journey. You need a girl in your team. Yeah, yeah. Triumphal Arch in Vladivostok. Lots of love for right-hand drive cars. Actually, this symbol also has an improper meaning. People love coming here, they love Vladivostok. It attracts really many people, but there's nothing here. Are we pulling ourselves out? People are really hospitable here, they wait for us. It's a lie. <laughs> How many bikes are stolen per year? Well, two bikes for sure. A kilo of tree punk meat costs a few thousand dollars in Japan. We have breakfast and dinner this way. I ate only radishes here. This is all Russia! Who wants Courage Bombay sneakers? Guys, I decided to reach the lighthouse till the end to say so. It's an awesome feeling because here is Usuri Bay and here is Amur Bay. And I'm walking right between them at the place they meet to get to this lighthouse. How do you feel at such a place? Wonderful. Do you often come here, guys? No, it's the first time. The first time ever? Yeah, at least for me it's the first time ever. Cool. And the rest of you also for the first time? Cool. And how do you feel? Kinda like this. In 1876, the glowing ship navigation sign appeared here on the artificial dam at the Shkot Peninsula. Then, in 1911, the lighthouse itself was built and it has remained untouched till nowadays. The so-called Tokarev Skat divides Usuri and Amur Bays. It's an extreme point of the continent from which the Sea of Japan and the Pacific Ocean starts. How could I help taking a picture? Oh, holy cow, you've got wet. It may be not really appropriate to sit in the car being socked. How do you feel? I've got scared already. This is all Russia. Got up a bit earlier today to go for a walk through the embankments and here I'm walking and I still feel like at some resorts. Everything is green, plenty of coffees and young people, like I'm in Sochi or Gilanjik, but with its own coloring. Very cool. Only 50 years ago, my grandpa lived here and played in a football team called Luch Vladivostok right here at this Dynamo Stadium. I'm really impressed. I don't know if I will manage to get inside the stadium, but it's really symbolic. Well, I'm inside the Dynamo Stadium. They let me in secretly. Let me show it to you at its best. Going on with the shooting, it's our second day in Vladivostok, tomorrow we are leaving, but for now we are going to jump into the Dodo Mobile and uh, to tame the beautiful city. 
Hello. Please sit. We are ready for the journey. Dear friends, we are in Vladivostok and now going to speak with Anton Kolka, brand co-founder. Hello, Anton. Hi. The first question is, what is Kolka? Kolka is a brand clothes that me and my friend create in Vladivostok. We make t-shirts, badges, postcards and other small things. We were told that Gudok, Alexander Gudkov, Russian actor and anchor man, is a part of Kolka, so... Really? No, well, I think he's not, it's a lie. I know he had a post on Instagram where he fell into bushes and shouted loudly. Kolka? Yes, it's a fact. Actually, the word Kolka is very strange. Why? Nobody gets its sense. Somebody says it's uh, Czech words or a foreign word, but in fact it's completely a uh, Russian word that means having thorns, biting, giving strange feelings. So this is also a way to spread all Russian words. Uh, such a strange way. The back PNM. Pasha and Masha? Yes, everybody will find his uh, papa and mama own sense in it. This is also us, it's a kind of code or puzzle and our name and there is also something inside the bag. At first you will go by car, right? You will go by car, so put this sticker. Yes, Hard the on the right house. As you can see here, the same lots one. of love for right hand drive cars. Then we also have our postcards here. Shoot! Postcards with Vladivostok views, we can open it, they are all different in size, these are all famous images. Here is the lighthouse, yes, the Tokarev lighthouse, the same one, it's a crab brush and a shrimp, yeah, and a Mr. Shrimp. Hello everybody, it's really good for us that we came for a visit to such a wonderful city, You've got a great place to come. Sure, you need a girl in your team. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Hello. This is Alexey Petrovich. He is a press officer and he personally helps us to get here. Eastern Federal University is one of the biggest and prestigious universities in Russia. It was founded in 2011 after four big universities has been merged into one. It's hard to believe that only nine years later FEFU became a huge knowledge machine that realizes top educational programs of the country. The new university campus is located on our motherland's edge, Ruski Island. It is recounts one of the environmentally friendliest in the world. Hello, I'm Denise. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Nina. So how are you doing? Actually, we are really excited about the city, but because of the time difference and seven hours that we have with our home city, yesterday it was really hard. Today it's a bit better, but still confusing. Thank you very much. Cool. Look, the Triumphal Arch in Vladivostok. We have the whole month of the road ahead and we're looking forward to it. It must be fun. The main goal of this trip is to have fun and to see as many cities as possible, to enjoy the diversity of Russia that it has in different cities. Thank you very much, you have a really nice and hospitable city. This is Tsarevich Embankment, it's really interesting place for Vladivostok that attracts many people, even though still nothing here. There's a huge nuclear submarine, it is being renovated, so it's covered with curtains, cause it's a state secret, but still here is a huge number of people, because there's no cars and it's safe here, and uh, you can have really nice walk here.
We hardly made an agreement with a huge Delta Vod corporation so that we could stay here. It's a former generator building. Let's go. The building itself is uh, pretty big. Here we have a specially written application. We made it for our business processes so that everything would speak quick. We could use magnet cards, uh, loyalty cards and many other interesting things. Lots of equipment here. We have about 80 bicycles. There is our small improvised office with motivation and rating charts, two working spots and the workshop. These are the bikes the owners brought us to repair. This is also a kind of industrial thing. It was the generator room and uh, there is uh, a two meter hole underneath. We fixed it with logs. When we first came here, it looked really awful. Here were huge telfers and uh, the generator itself here at the bottom. Is this the only station or are there stations anywhere else? No, we have three stations in this city. We are a station chain. We have stations at several universities university campus where you have been with Katya and in the center at the Spartivne embankments. We are planning to open a new station in Khabarovsk in the near future. There are some guys who want to manage it and a couple of new stations here in Vladivostok. How many bikes are stolen per year? It differs. Well, two bikes for sure. Two bikes? Is it because they forget to return or they really want to steal a bike? There was a swindler girl who stole a rented car, stole our bike and a half Vladivostok as well. There was a guy who left the bike at the rented apartment and his renter called us and asked Hey guys, is this your bicycle? Maybe we should go to the embankment? Yeah, let's go, let's take a look. The problem as usual in cooperation with local self-government, regional governments, they are sometimes really conservative and it becomes hard to push some creative ideas. As for me, the main positive of Vladivostok and the far east, at least of uh, Primorsky Krai, is uh, proximity to the world factory of China. Things that will be in the center of civilization only in two years are already brought here by uh, Chinese people. A special romantic atmosphere here. People really adore coming here. They are all in love with Vladivostok. They all love our students because all students are above all talented and interested in studying people. We don't have people here who only study to get their diploma. Tell us about the sea, about the everyday things. When does the season open? Uh, how does the sea temperature vary? Look, in a word, now it's not a season even though some people already started swimming. It's pretty warm, but the water is still cold. 18, 20 degrees Celsius. It's pretty cold. We start swimming in August and September when water gets warmer and weather gets more stable. So as you can see, it's not by accident that the Eastern Economic Forum, by the way, there's one of the holes that left, and our Pacific Meridian Festival, they both take place in September because the weather is good at this time. What is your tourism destination? Somewhere near here or European countries, Moscow or so on as usual? Well, if you go to Europe as a tourist, you're a money bag because it's really expensive. Asia, Thai, Vietnam, Korea, Seoul, Japan. Tickets to Japan have become affordable not so long ago. China? Yeah, China also. The main problem is that the Far East can't be developed because of lack of people living here. There are no people who develop the city. Guys, come here. We are welcome here. Take a hectare, a 2% mortgage. We are welcome here. People are really hospitable here. Climate is also great. <laughs> of tree punk meat costs a few thousand dollars in China. This is sea urchin's caviar. This is very healthy. It contains all the micro elements. Actually, nobody except human can eat this because it's poisonous. Look, it has a flat shell. You should put a knife inside it and open it. For how long does it grow? Let's count. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's ten or eleven years old. I only ate radishes here. A lemon and radishes. And a lemon, right? It's the king of Vladivostok nights. Oh my god. We usually have breakfast and dinner this way. But how else should we have breakfast and dinner? Well, we are at the canisters and auto goods shop because of a long wait that awaits us and we have a shopping list with all the goods we need. They are a canister, a cord, an axe, an axe, so that we had everything. We might certainly take an ice cream. They have ice cream here and an ice cream. There are three types of canisters, iron, aluminium and also plastic ones. But we can't take the plastic ones because it's prohibited to pour it into them. It is always bad when it's prohibited to pour it. And the iron canister has one problem. Its cap is loose and it can leak through it. Well, Boris, what's in your head? We have everything. We have everything like we're in Greece. Here we have a quartz, a shovel. We're going to look for treasure, a pump, a short front. This is for you from us, Valoda. Vladivostok is different from other Russian cities. Surrounded by three bays, packed with traffic of Japanese cars, Vladivostok amazes with its landscapes and open people. It makes you fall in love with it. And we are going to continue our journey. Khabarovsk is waiting for us.